What's a conspiracy theory that you a thousand percent believe in? That the Christian God, who's a tyrant, narcissist, jealous, hateful, angry, sexist, homophobic, baby killer, child killer, killed 2.8 million innocent people in the Bible, flooded the entire planet, literally burns and kills all non-believers in an eternal torture chamber, and enslaves all of his followers, is actually the devil. This TikToker employs a fallacy called the Gish Gallop, a rhetorical technique in which someone attempts to overwhelm an opponent by an excessive number of arguments without regard for the accuracy or strength of those arguments. When so many accusations are hurled at you at once, you can't respond to all of them with the same succinctness, and the viewer is left with the impression that the arguer has you stumped. But when you break down each argument, you begin to see a lot of holes. Here are 10 problems with this TikTok. 1. God isn't a tyrant. When God exercises judgment in the Bible, he's definitely harsh, but never for the sake of cruelty, and never excessively so. You might not like it, but to sin against an infinite being is a crime deserving of infinite punishment. In light of this fact, it actually appears that God lets people off quite easy. 2. God isn't a narcissist. He is by definition the being who's solely worthy of being worshipped. God doesn't have an inflated sense of self-importance, he's actually and literally the one the world revolves around. Three. God's jealousy for his people isn't a bad thing. It's actually what you want to see from someone who genuinely cares about what's good for you. What does it say about your spouse if they don't care that you cheated on them? 4. God is hateful. Of sin, aren't you? 5. God isn't sexist. Just because he created men and women differently and for different purposes doesn't mean he doesn't value them equally. 6. God isn't homophobic. He doesn't have an irrational fear of gay people. He does expect people to have sex within the confines of a monogamous heterosexual marriage, though. 7. God is always a good killer. As the sole creator of life, God solely has the right to take it away. But when he does so, it's never without a good reason. Infants who die before the age of accountability go straight to be with God. Their deaths are always an act of mercy. For everyone else, it's always a punishment for sin and a lesson for humanity. 8. Not everyone thinks of hell as a place of eternal conscious torment, but even if you do, the fact remains that people in hell continue to sin and continue to rack up more and more punishment. Nothing unfair about that. 9. God doesn't enslave his followers. Everyone who believes in him has chosen to follow him out of their own free will. You might think his commands are strict, but as Jesus says, his yoke is easy and his burden is light. Lastly, number 10. The Christian God isn't the devil. The devil exists contingently, has limits to his powers, and is evil. God exists by necessity, has all his powers to the maximum degree, and is the paradigm of goodness. This just isn't a serious suggestion. So here's the lesson for y'all. Break arguments down, don't fall for the gish gallop. <laughs>